jury has confirmed the primary suspect in the gruesome killings of five people over the weekend in Modesto will be brought back to that city tomorrow morning to face charges. Case Area 3's Linda Muma live in Modesto right now for us with the reaction that's coming from the community. Golson, and tonight we're still waiting for word from the Stanislaus County District Attorney's Office on whether charges have been filed in the case against Martin Martinez. In the meantime, funeral preparations are underway, and tonight the neighborhood near the home where the body was found on Saturday afternoon is now blocked off to traffic. While police finalized plans to transport Martin Martinez from jail in Santa Clara County back to Modesto sometime tomorrow, I really don't have anything to say to the media. Okay, I understand. Not yet. Okay. Family members of Dr. Amanda Cruz come and go from the home where she and four others were found dead Saturday afternoon, including Martinez's 57 year old mother, Anna Brown Romero, and six month old daughter, Rachel. Today, Cruz's identical twin sister, Kimberly, was too distraught to talk. Just something in me said, go put flowers. But friends, family, and even complete strangers parked their cars and walked flowers into the neighborhood for the family, some sharing their opinions about Martina's pending arrival. And I know you're not guilty until proven so, but it doesn't look good for this guy, and in my mind, he's guilty. Martinez was arrested early Sunday while leaving a movie in San Jose with his father. He was arrested on a warrant in the homicide last fall of his girlfriend's two year old son, Christopher. Prior to that, he had no criminal history in Stanislaus or Santa Clara counties and was employed as a medical courier in Modesto for the last 10 years. It's a horrific tragedy. It's, it's something that you don't really think could happen in, in your neighborhood. A neighborhood near Standerford Elementary School where another memorial is growing tonight for Crew's six-year-old daughter Elizabeth who attended summer school there until just last week. It's hard to talk about it. I know um, we, even when I talk to my employees that help me at daycare or other moms, it's hard to talk, even talk about it without choking up. And in the meantime, police are not releasing the name, the identity of the five-year-old girl believed to be Cruz niece at the request of the family. We're live in Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. Community still having to deal with so much tonight out there. All right, Linda, thanks.